See, since this chapter has come to an end, we shall do some revision. Express rupees into paise. How will you express rupees into paise? We will multiply it by 100. So, 3 into 100. Just 300. 12 into 100. 12, bring the two zeros down. 75 into 100. So, 75, these two zeros. Again here, 60 into 100. Write the 60, 200. 1000 paise. Now, express paise into rupees. How will you do it? You will divide by 100. So, 700 divided by 100. 1 zero is cut, 1 zero is cut. 1 zero is cut, 0 zero is cut. So, rupees 7. Here, 1900 divided by 100. 1 0, 1 0, 1 0, 1 0. So rupees 19. Here 800 divided by 100. 1 0, 1 0, 1 0, 1 0. So rupees 8. Here 2 6 double 0 divided by 100. 1 0, 1 0, 1 0. So rupees 26. Now addition. 5 plus 0, 5. 7 plus 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 5 plus 1, 6. 4 plus 3, 7. Rupees 76, 25 paise. Here, 5 plus 0, 5. 5 plus 2, 7. 3 plus 1, 4. 8 plus 7, 15. Rupees 154, 75 paise. 0 plus 5, 5. 7 plus 5, 13. 12, sorry. 5 plus 1, 6. 6 plus 3, 9. 4 plus 1, 5. Rupees 59 and 25 paise. Now add minus. This is you cannot take away ten, 0 from 5, so this becomes a 10. This becomes a 4. 10 minus 5 will be 5. 4 minus 2 will be 2. 5 minus 3 will be 2. 7 minus 1 will be 6. So this will be rupees 65 and 25 paise. 62 and 25 paise. Here 5. This you cannot subtract it. So this is a 12 and this becomes 6. So 12 minus 5 will be 7. Here 6, this becomes 16 and this becomes a 3. So 16 minus 7 will be 9. 3 minus 1 will be 2. So this is rupees 29 and 75 paise. Here you cannot take away 0 from 5. So this becomes 10. And this becomes a 4. So 10 minus 5 is 5. 4 again you cannot minus it. So this becomes a 14. And this becomes a 6. So 14 minus 7 is 7. 6 minus 2 is 4. 7 minus 5 is 2. So this is rupees 24 and 75 paise. Now estimate to the nearest rupee. 17.25 is estimated as 17. We will see this is only 25. If it is greater than 50, above 50 paise, we will round it up to 18. Since it's less than 50 paise, it's only 25 paise, I've rounded it out to 17. 79.79 is estimated as rupees 80. Why 80? 79. It's above 50 paise. So 79 becomes 80. Here, write the denominations for 975. How many rupees note you can make using for 975? You can use a 1500 rupee note. You don't have a 200 rupee note. The next will be 100 rupee note. How many 100 rupees note? 100. 600 is formed. Another 100. 700 is formed. 
another hundred, eight hundred is formed, another hundred, nine hundred is formed. So another we can do the fifty rupee note to make nine fifty. So how much is left? Twenty five. So you can do a twenty rupee note and a five rupee note to make nine seventy five. Raju bought apples and mangoes for rupees ninety six rupees and fifty paise. Cost of apple is rupees fifty three rupees and fifty paise. Find out the cost of the mangoes. So, cost of apples and mangoes is R. Cost of apples and mangoes. Mangoes are rupees. Ninety-six fifty. Cost of the apple is. <coughs> cost of the apple is. What's the cost of the apple? Fifty-three fifty. So to find the cost of the mangoes, you will have to subtract the cost of the apples and mangoes from the cost of the apple. Cost of the mangoes. So let's subtract to zero minus zero, zero. Five minus five is zero. Six minus three is three. Five nine minus five is four. So cost of the mangoes is rupees forty three. Cost of a pencil is rupees four. Find the cost of fifty-six pencils. Cost of one pencil rupees four. Cost of fifty-six pencils equal to fifty-six into four. Six fours are twenty-four. Five fours are twenty. Twenty add to twenty-two. So, stuff fifty-six pencils equal to rupees two twenty-four. Cost cost of a kerchief is rupees five point five zero. What is the cost of eight kerchiefs? So. Cost of one kerchief is equal to five point five zero. Cost of eight kerchief is equal to rupees five point five zero into eight. Eight zero is a zero. Eight five is a forty. Four zero. Put the dot here. Eight five is a forty again. Forty plus four, forty four. Therefore, cost of eight kerchiefs. Rupees forty four. Cost of four pens is rupees one twenty eight. Find the cost of a pen. To find the cost of a pen, we'll divide one twenty eight by four. So one twenty eight divide by four. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. Four threes are twelve. You minus this, you'll get zero. Bring down the eight. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. Twos are eight. So zero. So cost of a pen will be rupees thirty two. Therefore. Cost of a pen is equal to rupees thirty-two. Same way, if four toys cost rupees five sixty, how much will be for the? How much will be the cost of a toy? 
So 560 to find out the cost of a toy we will divide 560 by 4. 4 ones are 4. You minus this you will get 1. Bring down the 6. 4 fours are 16. You minus these both 0. Now there is a 0 left down. Bring it down or you can write it up here. So therefore cost of a toy is equal to rupees 140.